Hello guys, welcome back and I hope you all are doing absolutely fine. So in this video, we'll be continuing the Gynecology Important Definitions and Pointer series with previous year's two markers. This is the part three of the series and you can check the previous two parts in the playlist section of our channel. So without much ado, let us begin. Bartholin's gland. They are situated in the superficial perineal pouch. They are pea-sized and yellowish white in color. During sexual excitement, they secrete mucus which lubricates the vagina. Vasoconstrictor fistula. It is abnormal communication between the bladder and the vagina and the urine escapes into the vagina. It is a type of genitourinary fistula. Causes could be trauma, malignancy, radiation, vaginal tuberculosis. Bartholin cyst. It is fluid filled lump near the vaginal opening. There is closure of Bartholin's duct. There it is a cause by infection or trauma. The cyst is fluctuant and non-tender. Primary dysmenorrhea or spasmodic dysmenorrhea. It is cramping pain in the lower abdomen which occurs just before or during menstruation in absence of other disease. No pathology is involved. It is a type of dysmenorrhea. It is commonly occurring in the adolescent girls. Clitoris. It is a small cylindrical erectile body. It is situated in the anterior part of vulva. It consists glands, body and the two crura. Glands is covered by squamous epithelium. It is homologous to penis of male. Hirsutism. It is excessive growth of hair in facial and central part of the body of women. It is caused by increased level of androgen hormone. PCOS is the main cause of hirsutism. Causes of uterine prolapse. Trauma during childbirth. Increased intra-abdominal pressure in chronic cough and constipation. Congenital weakness of supporting structure and obesity. Indications of abdominal hysterectomy. Benign lesions include dysfunctional uterine bleeding, fibroid uterus, malignancy, carcinoma endometrium, carcinoma cervix, carcinoma ovary, trauma, rupture of uterus, uterine perforation, and obstetric conditions which include septic abortion and atonic PPH, postpartum hemorrhage. Indications of vaginal hysterectomy, uterine prolapse, dysfunctional uterine bleeding, fibroid uterus, carcinoma cervix, carcinoma endometrium, carcinoma ovary. Enumerate tubal patency test. Hysterosalpingography, sonohysterosalpingography, laparoscopy and phylloscopy. Types of IUCD. Intrauterine contraceptive device. Non-medicated IUCDs include Lippis loop. Medicated copper containing IUCDs are copper T200, copper T380A, multi-load 250, multi-load 375. Hormone containing IUCDs are LNG, IUS. Indications of hysterosalpingography. In infertility, recurrent abortion to diagnose Escherman's syndrome and to diagnose cervical incompetency and to diagnose uterine chinesia. Hysterosalpingography. It is an operative procedure used to assess the interior or anatomy of uterus and patency of fallopian tube. It is a radiographic study and a contrast media is used. Cervical ectopy or erosion. It is a condition in which squamous epithelium of ectocervix is replaced by columnar epithelium and continuous with endocervix. It is not an ulcer. Causes could be congenital infection, pregnancy and using oral contraceptive pills. Atrophic vaginitis or senile vaginitis. It is vaginitis in postmenopausal women. There is atrophy of the vulvovaginal structure. It is due to deficiency of estrogen. Symptoms are vaginal discharge is yellowish or blood stained, vaginal dryness, soreness in vulva and dyspareunia which is painful intercourse. Toxic shock syndrome or TSS. It is commonly occurring in menstruating women, menstruating women who use tampons. It is characterized by fever, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea and rash. Delayed puberty. Puberty is said to be delayed when the breast and the pubic hair are not appeared in the normal time. Causes of delayed puberty include hypogonadotrophic hypogonadism, chronic disease, malnutrition, hypergonadotrophic hypergonadism, gonadal dysgenesis 46XX, 
gonadal genesis 46xy u gonadism imperforate hymen and transverse transverse vaginal septum tests for ovulation they include laparoscopy sonography basal body temperature chart endometrial biopsy and hormonal es estimation which is serum progesterone serum lh and serum estradiol indications of myomectomy persistent uterine bleeding recurrent pregnancy wastage excessive pain and infertility with distortions of uterine cavity impotency male is incapable of performing sexual intercourse it is also called erectile dysfunction male is persistently unable in unable to maintain erection of penis action of iucd biochemical actions and histological changes in endometrium takes place increased tubal motility impaired sperm accent and prevents implantation differential diagnosis of breast lump it could be breast cyst breast abscess breast carcinoma mastitis fibroadenoma postmenopausal bleeding it is vaginal bleeding after the menopause causes include endometrial atrophy endometrial hyperplasia carcinoma of cervix carcinoma of vagina carcinoma of endometrium and dysfunctional uterine bleeding indications of ultrasonography infertility malignancy postmenopausal bleeding and abnormal uterine bleeding mitleshmus syndrome or ovular pain it is appear it appears in the mid menstrual period the pain is situated in hypogastrium to one iliac fossa the pain is situated in one side no nausea and vomit vomiting is seen contraception all measures temporary or permanent designed to prevent pregnancy due to coital act methods of contraception include temporary methods which are barrier method natural contraception iucds and steroidal contraceptions so with this guys we complete the part 3 of our gynecology important pointers and definition series which includes the two markers of previous year examination so i hope this video helps you all out also please do like share and subscribe our channel it motivates us to make more and more such videos for you all and please share with your friends and help them as well i'll see you in this next video of the series until then goodbye and take care thank you